Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another Around the Town of Brantford with Henry and Frank. It's a special day today, Memorial Day 2022. It's May 30th. We're down here in Stony Creek with Unc de Ross. Unc, it's great to see you again. How are you, sir? Well, it's nice seeing you, Frank. Well, we're good enough, Frank. We're, <laughs> we're getting by. <laughs> right, it could be worse. Could yep. be worse. So I just wanted to ask you, Unc, so currently we're down here, right? at the yeah. triangle yeah. it's about 8 a.m. on you know on the 30th so would you tell us as to uh, all the things the great things down here in Stony Creek that we're just about to see okay well actually this is a parade that's been going on and and traditionally up at going to the cemetery for over 130 years wow and uh, so this parade here the entire town is involved Everyone marches. Yeah, uh, we got a few carts around here for guys that can't make it. You know that, like myself, that wouldn't be able to make it up that hill. But other than that, everybody else gets out there and marches, and uh, so you'll see a whole throng of people that'll fill up. Uh, you know, they'll go for blocks, and you yeah, know, we'll get three or four hundred people that'll go up into the cemetery, and we put flowers on the grave up there. Like I say, that's a tradition that started back when the school opened here in 1886 that they would go up there and lay flowers on the graves of the veterans. So we continue that tradition down here. That's great. Now, also, isn't it true that over the years, right, in all the wars, 111 Stony Creekers passed away, right? Oh, it's more than that now. More I think that. I think you're going to find it's probably around 125 up there. Oh, that we, yeah. See, in Stony Creek, we we honor the people that have the men and women that have given their lives for our country. Yeah. But also, we remember the all veterans in yeah. Stony Creek, and that's what that whole the whole yeah. thing will be up there. Oh, that's great. That's okay. great. All right. Well, it's been great talking to you, sir. Okay. Again, okay. Okay. Right. We're speaking with Unc de Ross, former first selectman for 12 years. Town of Brantford in Stony Creek. <laughs> okay, Frank. You take All right. care. All right, sir. Okay, stay with us. Hi, Please good to see you. Christine Cohen. Yeah. Our word's right in the sun. Our, Should we move up here a little sure. bit? <laughs> Christine Cohen, our state senator. Yes. Great to see you here. Great to see you too. It's a beautiful day to really remember all of those that gave their life in the lives in the line of service. So I'm pleased to be here this morning and can't wait to hear the Stony Creek fife and drum. That's true. I and mean, you know, that's always something to look forward to. It sure is. Yeah. It sure is. And it's good energy down here. I love how everybody gets up bright and early in Stony Creek to make this happen and go, you know, march to the cemetery and that's, that's remember true. the those. whole town. Right, the yes. whole town turns out down yes. here. Yep. Yeah, they sure do. They yeah. sure do. So, yeah. Well, it's, well, it's great to speak with you. Nice and, uh, to speak with you, too. Happy Memorial Day. Hope everybody stays safe. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Christine Cohen, our state senator. And uh, as you can see, uh, they're getting ready over there to uh, step off from the uh, Stony Creek um, Veterans Memorial Triangle. That There's a lot of people already down here. As Unc told us earlier, everyone in Stony Creek joins the parade and they walk up to the Stony Creek Cemetery. We'll be bringing you the action and the speeches. and. Uh, now, over there, you can see on the left, that's the Dennis Flanagan. He's the parade marshal today. And uh, he has a very interesting history in the armed services. And you'll be hearing about that from him as he speaks on the Branford Green a little bit later on. Also over there, you see in the blue shirt, uh, that's um, Sean Scanlon, our state representative for uh, uh, Guilford. Stony Creek and Pine Orchard, and uh, uh, I mean, we'll be speaking to him a little bit later. You also have over there too. Uh, you have um, uh, Ray Ingraham, who's on the RTM. He's also on the a uh, parade committee. And we'll try to talk to him a little later. You bet. So there's a lot going on down here. All the action we're going to cover for you today here on Around the Town of Brantford with Henry and Frank. When this is over, we're going to uh, turn off the camera and take it up to uh, the Brantford Green. You're going to be 
You're going to see all the speeches up there on the Branford Green, and then also there's a great parade on tap uh, from the Branford Green. So, so you'll be seeing on this program today uh, two parades. Almost 8 o'clock. They always start right on time, so they'll be doing that very shortly. And there's the parade chairman, Bill o Bill O'Brien. And we'll talk to him. Uh, he's taking pictures. And we're going to see what what he has to say, you know, a little bit later. So anyway, uh, as I said, it's almost 8 o'clock, but there's a lot that's already gone on in Branford today, starting this morning at about 6.45, all 1,749 military graves in Branford, uh, there was a flag placed on each of those graves. There were prayers and taps at all of Branford's seven cemeteries. And um, the people in charge of that were uh, uh, Ray Ingraham and Phil Zelensky. There were also wreaths laid at Branford's monuments. Now coming up at about 9.15, uh, there's a prayer at the Hubbard Bridge and also a uh, wreath toss. And then, um, uh, so that's going to be great. I can hear the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps are beginning to play, so we're going to listen to them now here in Stony Creek as Branford celebrates uh, 2022 Memorial Day. Memorial Day, of course, to honor all those who passed away in defense of our country. It was originally known as Decoration Day, and it started in 1868 to honor and to remember and thank the 620,000 people who died in the Civil War, the war against slavery, the war between the North and the South. Over the years, the observance has widened in scope to include all American casualties of war. It became a formal national holiday in 1971 known as Memorial Day. And all those heroic men and women saved the United States from communism, Nazism, fascism, imperialism, and the evils of slavery. It's eight o'clock exactly, and here's the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps. Great steps off.
Quite a parade as we see the village of Stony Creek all walking up towards the Stony Creek Cemetery. There will be uh, speeches there. They're going to read the names of all 125 Stony Creek residents that passed away in service to our great America. And we'll be covering that for you as Around the Town of Branford with Henry and Frank continues. Here's uh, Engine 5 from Stony Creek. So stay with us. Our coverage continues. We're going to go up now to the Stony Creek Cemetery as Brantford celebrates Memorial Day 2022. Stay with us. Beautiful day. Okay, Brantford celebrates Memorial Day 2022. I'm Frank Tuhill. You're watching Around the Town of Brantford with Henry and Frank. We're up here at the uh, Stony Creek Cemetery. You can see all the American flags that were placed this morning on all the graves here in the cemetery. Those that gave their lives for defense of our great America. And there's a lot of flags. Unc de Ross told us before that there's over 125 Stony Creekers buried here that gave their lives to defend our country. Right now, the uh, in Incoming are the elected officials. Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps enters the cemetery and behind them, the entire Stony Creek Village. Everybody is here marching. Right behind them is uh, the rescue fire company from Stony Creek, the volunteers. Great group of people ready to help in the time of need. Then we have Boy Scout troop from Stony Creek 424. And then behind them come the people from Stony Creek. There's quite a large assembly here on this, at the Stony Creek Cemetery. And we'll be hearing from uh, former First Selectman Unc de Ross. And also, also you're, gonna be, you're gonna hear the names of all 125 that gave their lives from Stony Creek in defense of our country. And so now here's Unc. On behalf of the uh Stony Creek Cemetery Association, you're welcome here today. We're gathered here today to honor the, the men and women who have gave their lives for the freedoms that we enjoy. We also, here in Stony Creek, we remember the veterans who are interned here, as well as the ones that are interned in other cemeteries or at sea. To lead off today's observances, we'll have the invocation by the Monsignor David Walker, followed by the national anthem by Miss Claire Greenwald. In this moment of silence, let us be very prayerful and very sad that our hearts are at half mass because of the tragedy, the terrible shootings, and the innocent children and the two teachers who were killed down there in Texas. So in your own way, your own spiritual way, offer a prayer for them.
Thank you. Memorial Day. Lord, we ask your blessing upon us gathered in your name. On this Memorial Day, we pray for the brave men and women who have sacrificed their lives in service of our country. We owe them a debt of gratitude for their service and dedication to duty. They went to foreign shores and countries to serve our nation in its quest for peace. And we who enjoy the freedom that their lives and death secured for us, always remember them in thanksgiving and in prayer. We pray also for their families who suffer the loss of a loved one. They should take pride that their loved one died in the cause for justice and peace. Lord, we pray that all of us may be peacemakers so that no more names will be added and no more families will be devastated by wars and hostility. Lord God, Almighty Father, creator and author of peace, as we are ever mindful of the cost paid for the liberty we possess, we ask you to bless the members of our armed forces, give them courage and strength. May they ever experience your firm support gentle love and compassionate healing. Be their power and protector, leading them from darkness to light. To you, the all glory, honor, and praise. And may we always be grateful for your blessings, Lord, and may we be bearers of your peace to one another. Senior Pastor, Pastor Stephen Chamberlain, followed by a prayer by Lazil Fuhrer. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I got ahead of it. Now, Claire, there it is. We're going to have the national anthem right Claire. usually like to borrow from the internet, but I found something I'm sure many of you have seen this, but I thought it summed up today very nicely. Monday will be the most expensive holiday on our calendar. Every hot dog, every burger, every boat ride on the sound, or drink with friends and family is a debt purchased by others. This day is not about those who all who served. That's Veterans Day, of course. This day is to honor those who paid with their life's blood, whose moms never saw them again, whose dads wept in private, whose wives raise kids alone, and whose kids only remember them pictures. This isn't simply a day off. This is a day to remember that others paid for every free breath, 
you were going to take. My understanding is 1.1 million have not returned home. We often say Happy Memorial Day, but instead we should really be saying thankful or thoughtful Memorial Day to each other. Let's join our hearts together in prayer. Lord, as we come into this place today, we want to thank you for our country, for our freedoms, but we particularly want to give thanks to you for those men and women who gave their all so we could be free. Even today, also, as we read the great list of people who served and are no longer with us, may our hearts be comforted. May special memories be brought to mind. And may we never take for granted the sacrifices that have been made on our behalf. For those who are here today who have lost loved ones, we know that the pain that they feel may dim, but it never goes away. And so as the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort, we pray for your comfort and peace for each of them today. And Lord, for our country today, as we look at what's happened in Texas, as we look at what's happened in Buffalo, we would ask that you would heal our land, that our land would be characterized by unity and not by hate. And we pray that you would give special ministry to those who have lost loved ones in those great tragedies. We pray all this in your name. Amen. <coughs> Thank you to the other members of the clergy who pray so beautifully on our behalf. Yikadal v'yikadal shamei rabah. The first line of the prayer that we Jews recite when we are mourning or when we are commemorating the death of our loved ones refers to God as the shamei rabah, the great name. The great name is unpronounceable and is made up of all our names, you and me, our neighbors and friends, as well as all of the names of God's creation. If one of these creatures should perish, the great name is diminished. So in this prayer, we are consoling God. All the verbs are self-reflexive. We are telling God to make God's self ever greater ever more holy. There is no mention of death. We stand and recite these words of praise to the Holy One on behalf of those who can no longer do so. That is our obligation today. On behalf of the men and women buried here, they were prepared to die for their ideals. If we are truly to honor their lives, we must live up to the ideals that they held so dear and were willing to sacrifice their lives for. We must raise our voices whenever we can to do our part to make our lives truly in the image of God, to be a holy people. At the prayer's conclusion, we ask God for peace, for a sense of wholeness for all people. If you know the prayer, please join me. If you do not, please offer your amen at its conclusion. Yitgadal v'yitgadal shemei rabah v'yalma divra chirutei v'yomich machutei v'chayei chon v'yomei chon v'chayei v'kei v'yit Yisrael v'agala v'zman pari v'nu amen. Yehei shemei rabah mevarach v'yalem omei omei yitbarach v'yishtagah v'yitparah v'yitnaman v'yaseh Yitadar v'yitalev v'yitalal shemei d'kudasha v'yitfu Lehela min v'yokol b'yachata v'yashirata Tuspachata v'nechemata Damiram v'yalma v'yamurim, Amen Yehei shlava rabba min shamaya V'chayim aleni v'yokol Yisrael v'yamuru, Amen O se shalom v'yamma O yase shalom Aleinu v'yoko Yisrael, v'yoko Yosfei Teva, v'yamaru, Amen. We're now going to have the traditional roll call here of all the veterans that are buried here in the Stony Creek Cemetery, and that'll be done by Warren Collins. It'll be followed by a gun salute and taps from the American League. Before I call the role of 127 veterans buried in the Stony Creek Cemetery, 
Let us pause briefly for a moment of silence for those Stony Creek veterans who are buried elsewhere. Thank you. The role of 127 veterans buried in the Stony Creek Cemetery has been arranged chronologically. I will first call the war, followed by the names of the veterans and branch of service. Civil War, James Newland, Confederate Army. Richard Payne, Army. Franklin L. Bradley, Army. Roger Hall, Army. Theodore W. Howe, Army. Elias Norton, Army. Spanish-American War, George W. Allen, Army. Philippine Insurrection, Wesley Collins, Army. World War I, William M. MacArthur, Army. Joseph Jenkin, Army. James Milne, Navy Reserve. William George, Army. Floyd Hinckley, Navy. Frederick George, Navy. John Ross, Army. Maynard Allen, Navy. Grant Berger, Sr., Army. Mason Clock, Army. Leo Finneran, Army. Leon Pond, Sr., Army. Ralph W. Ritchie, Army. Martin W. Matson, Sr., Navy. Elbridge Jenkins, Army. Alexander Robertson, Sr., Army. George A. Bishop, Army. William Mahan, Army. Joseph Anderson, Army. World War II. Ivor Ref, Army. Lamar Garmany, Navy. Gerald Carden, Army. Ralph Lindsley, Navy. Oscar Olson, Merchant Marines. John Wilson, Army. Earl Nace, Army. Donald Farnham, Army. William F. Dow, Jr., Army. Elmer Ref, Navy. Stephen Pauk, Navy. Lester O. Cook, Navy. Richard Collins, Army Air Force. Walter Pollock, Navy. Carol Doherty, Army. Leon Pond, Jr., Coast Guard. Mirstislaw Girgalevich, Army. Ralph Pagley, Ar Arrow, Army. Robert I. Moore, Navy. Harry Robbins, Navy. William Wilson, Navy. Leroy Moulton, Army. Robert Lindsley, Navy. Robert Pond, Army. Thomas Magistro, Army. Guy Farnham, Army. Robert Larice, Navy. William Matthews, Army. Robert Sanzero, Army. John White, Army. H. Allen Carroll, Army. Charles Riley, Navy. Kenneth Pond, Army. Wesley Smith, Army. Raymond Page, Army. Earl, Earl Oppa, Army. Earl Mann, Army Air Force. John Barnes, Marines. Joseph Stamler, Army Air Force. Paul Calandria, Navy. James F. Riley, Navy Reserve. Leroy K. Northam, Navy. Addison Cook, Navy. John Hill, Navy. Robert Grossman, Army. Henry Olivo, Army. H. Morgan Keyes, Navy. George Geisels, Sr., Army. William Robertson, Army. Charles R. Collins, Army. Elmer Jones, Army. Melvin Robertson, Navy. William Walsh, Navy. Reverend Robert Hamilton, Army. Peter B. Doherty, Navy. Walter R. Zmijewski, Navy. Walter Lang, Jr., Merchant Marines. Cameron Brown, Army. Ernest Posey, Army. Howard Mann, Army. Alexander Robertson, Jr., Army Air Force. Grant Lewis Berger, Jr., Army. World War II and Korean. George D. Thomas, Navy. John Green, 
Navy, Warren F. Collins, Merchant Marine and Marines, Edward Gallant, Army Air Force, Korean War, John Van Valkenburg, Army, Donald J. Atkinson, Jr., Navy, Mark Leachman, Army, Mildred Sanzero, Navy, Maxwell Krebs, Navy, Donald Hennessy, Sr., Navy, Bernard Knowlton, Army, Howard Sanzero, Marines, Herbert Pierce, Jr., Air Force, Edward Cook, Army, John Altermatt, Marines, Ronald E. McDermott, Air Force, John Kirby, Army, Robert E. Page, Navy, Sally B. Page, Navy, Robert P. Patton, Navy, Martin Matson, Army, Marvin Zimmerman, Air Force, Robert Janetti, Air Force, Walter T. Ackerman, Army, Vietnam, Kenneth Williams, Air Force, Tim Walters Majewski, Marines, Robert Jones, Army, David M. Baker, Army, Norman Moss, MD, Army, Malcolm Bruno, Army, Donald F. Cusack, Marines, William Ashcroft, Army, Leonard H. Murray, Navy, James Stock, Navy, Robert H. Opie, Air Force, John Joseph Burness, Army, Peacetime Service, Edward F. Ramos, Army, James O'Brien, Jr., Army. Now have a gun salute and taps by the VFW and American Legion. After the gun taps, the American Legion will be uh, exited the cemetery for their obligations at the other uh, cemeteries they have to go to uh, to give them enough time. But the program will go on. So now with a gun tap, a uh, gun salute and taps by the American Legion, VFW. Corps, would you give a selection to escort the, the uh, veterans out, please? Red, white, and blue.
Okay, so stay with us. We're going to head uptown right now to the center of Brantford. As Around the Town of Brantford with Henry and Frank continues. Stay with us. Around the Town of Brantford with Henry and Frank continues. We left the Stony Creek Cemetery and we are now in uh, Brantford Center, standing on the Hubbard Bridge for the naval ceremony to honor those that died in defense of our great country. Pretty soon, coming up, you're going to be seeing the uh, ceremonies right here on the Hubbard Bridge. There'll be a wreath toss over the side into the river. You'll be hearing the uh, Star Spangled Banner. The high school band will be here. As in years past, there will be a gun salute and taps will be played. Coming up after this, we'll be up on the Brantford Green for the opening ceremony there. And then the parade, full coverage of Brantford celebrating Memorial Day 2022, as Branford celebrates, honors, and remembers. We have to thank the many volunteers that were involved with today. I know planning for this great day started probably months ago. On the parade committee, we have Bill O'Brien, who's the outstanding chairman of the parade, John Fitzgerald, the chief of staff, Dana Strickland. We have the uh, we have the parade marshal this year. We'll be speaking with him later. Dennis Flanagan, of course, Vin Giordano, the master of ceremonies. You'll be hearing from him. Also on the parade committee, Elliot Hastings, Phil Zelinsky, Ray Ingraham, Dale Izzo, and Alex Paluzzi Jr. I mean. Things have gone extremely well so far today, right? Very, very happy, Frank. You know, uh, one of our tests is to get down to Stony Creek in time because they've been known to leave without us. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we were fortunate that we had uh, Gary Zielinski driving the bus today, the director of public works. And uh, he was like, take no prisoners. We're going to get there, you know. So we uh, we got there about, oh my, we're going to say quarter of or 10 of 8 before their program started. And then we marched up. But that's that was our sixth or seventh stop Already, we began uh, at the Center Cemetery at uh, 6:45, and uh, you know all the different stops we made at St. Mary Cemetery, and we made a stop at uh, uh, Town Hall, where we have five wreaths put down on the Town Hall itself, and the flagpole, and the cenotaph in the back, and the Civil War monument, and uh, you know we went to Damascus Cemetery and St. Agnes Cemetery and uh, uh, Mill, no, Mill Pond, uh, Mill, yeah, Mill Pond. Uh, whatever it is. Mill Plain. Mill Plain, I'm yeah. sorry. It's been a long day, Frank. The problem <laughs> yeah, with these I things know. is... is six You've been up four. early. Oh, we got up at five, and I didn't get home last night. I was at a wedding, so I got <laughs> home late. But, uh, you know, it's working out very well. It's a perfect day. Couldn't ask for a better day. It's going to get hot later, but we'll take it. You, you know? know, it's true. It's a, wonderful. So, uh, so, I mean, all this planning, Bill, I mean, how much is involved with this? I mean, when do you start working on this? A couple of months ahead of time. Yeah. You know, it's... it's uh, it's nice to hear that it's appreciated and, and we do the best we can. You know, a lot of the groups know they're going to be asked to, to participate and we have a full contingent of... The only group that's not coming back this year is the Totuck and Ancient Fife and Drum Corps from, from North Brantford. They've marched for years and years and Pam Sokolowski and that group is... Uh, is uh, they lost a member and they had somebody had major surgery and so they're not in the parade this year. But we got the Governor's Foot Guard, the second company, Governor's Foot Guard. We got the uh, Stony Creek Fife and Drum um, wouldn't be the same without them. Exactly. Got the high school band, yeah. town band will be performing on the green during the parade, and uh, you know we got the usual contingent of Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts and fire trucks and all that stuff. But uh, it's just a matter of communications, and in today's times with the internet and email and all that stuff, it's uh, not that complicated. No, that's true because you're right. You can use that instead of like calling and you know leaving a message or. Yeah, in the old days, when I first got involved, I never forgot the story. I, I joined the parade committee. I was put on the parade committee, uh, I'm going to say, I don't know, eight or ten years ago. And I went to my first meeting, and uh, they were sitting there, and there was no agenda. It was just sort of like, oh, who's going to call Stony Creek, you know, and look around the room, and I said, I'll call them, you know. And uh, the same thing came up with the town band and all this other stuff, and I said, well, I'll, I'll get in touch with them. So after the parade committee was over that day, one of the guys came up and said, you want to be chairman? I said, well, you know, this is my first meeting. I said, let me, let me get my bearings. Let me get my bearings. And uh, so I took it the following year. And, 
you know, it's it's a matter of the old timers didn't have computers and they didn't communicate the same way that uh, I'm 82. So I mean, I'm not I'm an old timer now, but I, <laughs> I was brought up in the last part of my banking career as a uh, using the internet and things of that oh. nature. So I got more experience than some, not as not as much as many. Yeah. Well, so it's a it's it's going to be great here, right, on the Hubbard Bridge, and it's also going to be great, Bill, right up on the green. Uh, we hope so. Yeah, yeah, we have a, a you, half hour program. Uh, we have an essay contest, a couple of winners from the essay contest are going to read their essays. You started that. I did. When I was at Marshall at a parade in 1989, um, I just gave some thought to the idea of, of what Memorial Day should mean to our uh, younger generation. Yeah. And I asked uh, Tom Yester, who was the chairman of the time, uh, would, he, would he incorporate the kids winning essays in the, in the uh, program? And he said he would. So. Uh, picked 10 kids that had good, good essays. We had several hundred to read through. Picked a top 10 and then picked two from that group yeah. that were outstanding. Yeah. And we've done it every year. Yeah, it's it worked out really. That, yeah. Yeah. I can see why, Bill, mm. you know? Thanks. <laughs> well, anyway, so um, it's going to be great. You know, too, like all the great talent that you have, mm. you know, for the parade. I mean, it's going to be great to hear all this patriotic uh, music. Well, you know, you're dealing with some pretty impressive groups here. You know, yes. we're very fortunate to have Stony Creek oh, uh, yeah. here. World famous. Know. Yeah, they're legendary. You yeah. know, I'd do anything for those guys. They're, That's they're right. terrific. <laughs> and they are they're great to the town, you know. Yeah. And of course the town band is uh is uh Henry wants you. The town band is uh is uh, is uh, got a new leader right now, Mike uh, McCurney, uh -huh. and, and he's going to run it. And uh, of course, uh, the governor's foot guard and uh, and the high school band. Yeah, they're here today. The high school is, band is, as yeah. they approach. They're coming the Hubbard Bridge. Get a picture of them. All right, was, thanks everybody. Great talking to you, right. Bill O'Brien, the parade chairman. Ten years of volunteerism hey, for the town. How you doing? Good. And he's talking with Vin Giordano. Hey, how are you, Frank? Great to see you this morning, sir. Yeah, it's always good to see you. Look at that smiling shirt you have on. Oh thank my you, God! Thank you, thank you. The master of ceremonies. <laughs> yeah. So it's right. It's it's a great day today. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. Look at how calm it is. True. It Clear be better. blue sky. Yeah. <laughs> you could do anything today. That's that's right. I hope we have people have picnics this afternoon and uh, um, of course we're going to remember our veterans yeah. who uh, gave their last full measure that's a, really the purpose of today but it's this but in a way it's a celebration too yes and uh, so we have to keep that in perspective yep absolutely okay okay well all right Frank great to talk to you we'll see you up top here's the parade uh, Here's the marshal, Dennis Flanagan. He's got the, uh, nice to see you today, you? sir. Yeah, good to be here today on this gorgeous day on Memorial Day, paying tribute to all the fallen veterans who gave their lives for the service of the country. You're gonna speak on the, on the yes, green? Yes, I'm gonna be speaking on the what's green. Your, what's your speech gonna I'm be gonna about, true, I'm gonna bring back the true meaning of what Memorial Day it means, instead of picnics and holidays and people partying, that people should remember <laughs> that this is the day we honor our fallen heroes. I know, gave their lives for, for our the great country. country. I know. Right. It's true. See you up there, Frank. All right. Thank you. Nice to talk to you. That's the parade marshal, Dennis Flanagan, also the RTM moderator. All right, we're just about to start the ceremony here on the Hubbard Bridge. This is to honor the naval uh, casualties protecting our country. So stay with us as we continue our coverage.
the naval prayer will be given to today's great military. We come to honor the memory of the, our departed comrades who have offered their lives in the service of our country. Let us pray. Almighty God, Father of all mankind, and judge of our nation, we pray thee to bless this memorial service. Look down with favor and understanding upon the hearts of those who have gathered here to take tribute to our departed comrades. They no longer hear the sound of the waves float upon the sea. They no longer sail beneath the peaceful skies, nor are driven before the angry storm. Reach out your hand to the men and women who lost their lives at sea. Send your holy angels from the high to watch over them. Guide them to calm waters, to the port of eternal rest in heaven. Amen. 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 Postcard dinner, John, the storm is in a cake. We will win a cake for this. Hold on to the food. Get some shots. You got them? Toss into the Brantford River should be floating under the bridge as the tide is coming in. Okay, so that concludes the naval ceremonies here, Memorial Day 2022 on the Hubbard Bridge, South Monterey Street in Brantford, Connecticut. And uh, right now we're going to be moving again up to the green. You're going to be seeing all the ceremonies there. We'll be hearing from First Selectman Jamie Cosgrove. Also, uh, you'll be hearing the two, you know, the winners of the essay, the essay award. Well, the winner and, and also the runner-up. They're both from Walsh. Great to hear their speeches. 
and uh, you'll be seeing the prayers and you know the benedictions and the, uh, hearing the town band again and then also you'll be hearing from uh, Leah Witten who's a great uh, vocalist I mean we've enjoyed her music you know for many years and it'll be great to hear her again and the Brantford Town Band and the high school band everybody's here everybody turned out today to honor those that have died from Brantford in defense of their great country, you know, our great country, the United States of America. So right now we're going to head up to the Brantford Green and our coverage continues of Memorial Day 2022 here in Brantford. I'm Frank Tuhill. Stay with us. Around the town of Brantford, Henry and Frank continues. All right, we're speaking to two-thirds of the Board of Selectmen. We're here on the Brantford Green, the uh, 2022 Memorial Day festivities, the ceremonies will be starting momentarily, but before we uh, cover that for you, uh, we're speaking with um, Angie. Hello, and I want, to, I want to say let's remember all our veterans here and far and lost, and uh, I have a special uh, thought. Um, I lost a, a, a cousin in the Vietnam War at the age of 19, and I have him in my heart today. Angie Higgins on the Board of Selectmen. Those were great thoughts that you just gave us. And uh, it's a beautiful day today, it Angie. It certainly is, it certainly is. Perfect day, perfect day for a parade and an honor. Yeah, we great also, day. We also have with us Ray. How you doing, Ray? I'm doing great, thank you. Ray, um, curious to know, I mean, you know, first of all, you know, for many years you were on the Brantford Police Force, but you also served our country. Would you, would you tell us about that? Yeah, I enlisted in uh, 1976. I served from 76 to 80 in the Navy. Um, I repaired submarines. I worked on subtenders. I was overseas for about uh, 12, 18 months. Wow. Oh, that's great. That's great. And, and, then, and then after that, how about the Brantford Police Force? How many years were you on that, sir? I got on as a part-time officer in 1981. I got full-time in 1985, and I retired in 2019. So. Um, I, I had a good stretch and you know the town's been very good to me so uh, today's a great day for the town and, and for all the veterans and um, and I'm glad for the, the turnout to all the townspeople today. The weather held up and people are getting out and about and it's good to see. Yeah, that's true, that's true, absolutely. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people here today, which is, as you said, great. Yeah, the Stony Creek Parade, as you were down there a little bit earlier, it also had a real good turnout today. So it's nice that the people are out celebrating, you know, and honoring, uh, you know, our, our soldiers. So it, it's something that for a while it seemed like it was going away and people weren't coming out. And I'm glad to see that it's it appears that it's coming back and they're honoring those. So yeah. it, it, it's a great day for everyone. Yeah. So this is two thirds of the board of selectmen. The first selectman, Jamie Cosgrove, will be here, and he'll be speaking. And uh, you know, I mean, um, you'll be seeing that speech, you know, on our program. So um, great to see you both. You know, Angie, thank you very much, Ray. Nice and to see thank you, you very much. Stay with us. Our coverage continues. Memorial Day in Brantford, 2022. Just any moment from now, we'll be starting the uh, 2022 Memorial Day ceremony. But first, I'm speaking with our state representative, Robin Comey. Good morning, Representative. Hello, Representative Tuhill. How are you today? Very good, thank you. Uh, it's a beautiful day and a good turnout, right, Robin? Oh, I was here a little bit early with my daughter, and we went and got a cup of coffee at Common Grounds, and there's a lot of people out for sure, a lot of families. It's great to see it. Now, you know, each time I talk to you, Here's my question. How's Hartford? <laughs> Hartford's great. You know, we had a really uh, strong year. You know, our budget um, was was you know record breaking as far as um, what we can do and the really surplus. help the, the yeah. We, it was big. Yeah, it was <laughs> really yeah. big. It's Unbelievable. It's been really nice to yeah. be uh, <laughs> have a surplus. Ha have a have a be a state representative in a time like that yeah, because yeah, I can uh, imagine. the tougher decisions makes it a little bit easier. <laughs> it's true, it's true, yeah. Yeah. It's true. yeah, we've been able to help a lot of people and, and support our our, um, our kids and our schools and yeah. um, making sure that um, the residents of the state get some tax breaks. Yeah, no, that's true. And it's also, right? And it's also great that the, that the 25 cents per gallon uh, state tax came off uh, gasoline. Yeah, so that'll be through the end of November, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, we're doing, we're, we're doing what we can do here in Connecticut. That's true, I know. Right, I mean, times are tough. There's a lot going on, you know, in the country, in the world right now. 
It is. I mean, yeah. it's a good thing that though we can come together as a community and celebrate yeah. um, Memorial Day and really honor those who we lost in our wars. That's true. That's true. Well, it's great to see you today. Thank you. Same to you. But speaking with State Representative Robin Colmey. All right. Take care. Take care. Bye. All right. It's um, two minutes to ten, and that means we have two minutes before the. Uh, before the ceremony starts. Good, good hey, morning, sir. Nice to see you, Ray. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Good. Yes. Uh, a, we have a glorious Memorial Day now, huh? Right yeah, it's true. I just have one question sure. for you. So, uh, so, right, there's supposed to be 1,749 military graves. Mm -hmm. I, but my question is, is it true that you got to all of them to place uh, flags? We, we we do our absolute best. I mean, every once in a while we do miss one that gets covered up or you know something. But yeah, it, it, for the most part, yes, we, 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 we at least looked for every one of those graves. Oh, that's good. That's great. That's great. Right, it takes a lot of uh, work. Yeah. Right, and it's all, all yeah, it's all the Boy Scouts, Elks, uh, Girl Scouts, Brownies, and uh, just regular you know, citizens showed up last Saturday to help us out. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, it's been great so far today, right? And it's, it's going to be great now. Yeah, yeah. The weather's been great, and it's uh, it, you know it's, it, 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 it's exciting to have this many people you know come you know come to remember who we lost. It's yeah, just, I know, you know really what the day's about. There is a big turnout, though, isn't yeah, there? It's a very very good turnout. Yeah. Right? So well, great to talk to you, sir. All right. Good day, guys. All right. Okay, so here's Vin Giordano, Master of Ceremonies, as the church Giordano, strikes ten. Master of Ceremonies today. On behalf of the Veterans Parade Committee, Bill O'Brien, its chairman, and other members, John Fitzgerald, Chief of Staff, Dennis Flanagan, who by the way is our parade marshal today, Elliot Hastings, Ray Agram, Dale Izzo, Alex Blosey, Dana Strickland, Philip Zelinsky, and myself, of course, I would like to welcome you to this beautiful day in our 2022 Memorial Day exercises. So our reviewing committee, our official reviewing committee today, consists, of course, of our parade marshal, Dennis Flanagan, our first selectman, James Cosgrove, selectman, Angela Higgins, Ray Dunbar, and our state senator, Christine, uh, I'm sorry, state, our, our, our state representative, Christine Cohen. Normally, uh, we have... Robin Comey and, and Sean Scanlon here, but they're at the parade in Guilford. Robin, Robin is here. Robin is here? Christine is not here. Oh, you're Robin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, uh, I tried to get that straight around, but Robin, Robin is here. Okay. So our um, police chief, um, John Mulher, is here, as well as our fire marshal, Thomas Mahoney. So they are our official reviewing committee today. Uh, I would like to thank Dennis Nardella for this wonderful sound system. Steve Vaca, who's going to do the taps later, who has done it for as long as I've been here, and that's a few years. Um, also, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Phil Zielinski and the scouts who go around and place flags on all our veterans' markers. And also announce that the uh, Veterans of Foreign War and the American Legion are sponsoring a reception after the parade in the American Legion Hall on North Main Street across from Clancy's funeral home. So feel free to go in and get a hot dog and whatever. They'd love to see you. <laughs> so our ceremonies today will begin with the national anthem sung by Leah Witten accompanied by the Brantford High School Band. Units, attention, hut, present homes. Yeah. 
Ray Cook. Thank you, Lee, for that beautiful rendition. Now the invocation will, will be given by Pastor Steve Cham Chamberlain of the Evangelical Free Church. Steve? morning. It's nice to see so many out here and we're so thankful for a wonderful day today. I know today is Memorial Day and we remember on Memorial Day those who have died in the service of our country, but today we are a country in mourning. For a short time ago we heard of a young man who drove several hours just so he could kill people whose skin had a different color than his did. This past week we were again horrified to hear of the taking of the innocent lives of 19 elementary school children, two teachers and several others injured in that attack. I would ask that you join me in a moment of silence to remember those who have died in those attacks, please. In the Bible, in the book of John, it was Jesus who said, Greater love has no man than he laid down his life for his friends. We come today to give thanks for those who willingly laid down their lives, most of whom were young with their lives still before them. I believe there were 1.1 million, I heard the figure this morning. They did this for the good of we who are their countrymen. We come today to give thanks for the love of country and their sacrifice on our behalf. If you've not read the book John Adams, I recommend that you read it. From its pages, it tells of those who founded our country, and they did so knowing that they, they could cost their very lives. And for many, that was the price they willingly paid, as have so many other men and women over the time since our country came into existence. Would you join me in a prayer of thanksgiving and prayer for our country? Our God, we're thankful today for this great nation you have given us and the freedoms we enjoy. We come today remembering those who gave their very lives, paying the price for the freedom that we enjoy. Thank you, thank you for each of those men and women who gave the ultimate sacrifice. As we think of those who did not come back, we are aware that there are many mothers, fathers, wives, husbands who never had their loved ones return, and children who have never known their parent. Their pain may dim, but we'll always be with them. We thank you for their sacrifice. And we ask that you would heal their hearts and give them your comfort and peace. And Lord, as we've talked about Buffalo and Texas, we ask this day for those who have suffered loss. And we pray that each one would know your love and your care for them, and that you would bring unity to our great nation. Finally, I know that it's not on our soil, but we also pray for an unjust and brutal war today that is going on in the country of Ukraine. And we ask that you would bring an end to that war quickly, and that you would minister to those who are wounded, homeless, and those who have lost loved ones. We thank you that you are one who hears the cry of the helpless, and we pray all this in your name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. And now, our Slackman's greeting from James Cosgrove. James. On behalf of the town of Brantford, I welcome all of you here today as we honor and remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice serving our country. I must recognize and thank the Veteran Parade Committee, the American Legion Post 83, Veterans of Foreign War Post 12106, and for organizing the memorial ceremony uh, today in the parade. To all the veterans in attendance here today, throughout Brantford and beyond, thank you. The Brantford community extends our gratitude for your service. While we gather on the green on this beautiful day, or later with friends and family to enjoy the holiday, let us not forget that Memorial Day is to be a solemn day, a day to remember and honor the service men and women who gave their lives serving our great country. They answered the call to defend our country, protect our freedom, and free millions around the world from tyranny and oppression. 
Those who made the ultimate sacrifice embodied the American ideals and values and represented who we are as a nation. They were men and women from diverse backgrounds of race, ethnicity, religion, political ideology, and class. However, they were Americans. And through their selfless service and sacrifice, our nation remains a beacon of hope in a country where we enjoy the inalienable rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. As citizens, our responsibility is to ensure that the sacrifice was not in vain. We must maintain a government that is for the people and by the people. It is our duty that equality and opportunity exists for all, and we must remain united, for this is how we will honor our fallen. In closing, I ask that you keep those currently serving in your thoughts and prayers and thank them for their service. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Now a selection from the Stony Creek Piper Drum Corps. Flyover during that uh, rendition. I, I don't know who arranged it, but whoever did, thank you very much. No, we'll take credit for it. Okay, we'll take credit for it. <laughs> Seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it, far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. And now Leah, accompanied by the town band, will sing the battle hymn of the Republic. Leah? My eyes have seen the glory of 
the coming of the Lord. He has trampled out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Dennis Flanagan grew up in Fairhaven, graduated from St. Francis School in 1960, and graduated from Wilbercross High School in New Haven in 1964. He was then called up to serve with the Navy in Vietnam, where he put in a year in the Brown Water Navy at the Mekong, in the Mekong Delta. When returning stateside, he served another year in Norfolk, Virginia completing his naval service as third class petty officer. Following his active service, Denner Dennis is honored to help serve other veterans through several roles, which include his volunteer work for the town as a charter member of the Veterans Advisory Committee. This group was formed in 2015 as the liaison helping connect veterans with organizations, hospitals, and other programs. In 2021, Dennis was recognized by the Brantford Elks Lodge, 1939, as a Veteran of the Year and for his service to the town. Dennis also served five times as Commander of Post 83 American Legion during his 41 years as a member. Dennis moved to Brantford in 1970 when he married Brantford native Annette Richitelli. He went on to receive his degree in logistics from the University of New Haven, working, then working for Sargent Manufacturing for 31 years before retiring. As a representative of the town's 5th district, Dennis has served on the Brantford RTM for 36 years, making him the longest running member of the present day Brantford RTM. In addition to his services to the town, for the past six years, Dennis has been working for the Brantford Police Department as a crossing guard. Dennis and Annette have a daughter, Denise, from Old Saybrook, and two granddaughters, Taylor and Olivia. A son-in-law, Matt Stone, who, served, who serves as a police officer for the DEEP and is an Iraq War veteran. Dennis is currently is also currently a member of the Veterans Prey Committee, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce him today as Memorial Day's Parade Marshal. Dennis? First Selectman like Cosgrove, distinguished dignitaries, I would like to thank the Veterans Prey Committee for selecting me for Parade Marshal for today's parade. This memorial, that memorial day, we remember veterans and more than one million men and women who have died in the U.S. military service. We dedicate the last Monday in May in the memory while acknowledging that for the Gold Star families, the morning is not limited to just 24 hours a year. We benefit from fallen American sacrifices every time we exercise our constitutional rights. We are able to speak freely, possess a firearm, peacefully assemble and vote. Public officials don't secure us these rights. Rather, they have been paid for in the blood of those who willingly 
risk their lives to protect ours. From the founding of our nation to today, as the saying goes, all gave some, some gave all. From the world wars in Korea, Vietnam, and the Middle East, every U.S. military headstone has a story, and everyone is inspirational in its own way. To, to get together, they bear witness to the selflessness love that no one in the laid down for one's life for his friends. While Memorial Day is often viewed as a day of picnics and celebrations, let's not lose the true meaning of Memorial Day, remembering our veterans. Whatever this is a Memorial Day or any other day, if you see a service person or someone you know has served in the military, to me, the biggest compliment would be for people to say, thank you for your service. As I look out into the crowd here today, I can see many, many veterans wearing hats of various branches of the service. Reach out to them. Thank them for their service. They really would appreciate that. In conclusion, to say, God bless the veterans and God bless America. Thank you very much for this very inspiring time. Now, American Legion Chaplain Elliot Hastings will say a prayer of the Grand Army of the Republic. Elliot? Thank you, Randy. Good morning, everyone. Grand Army of the Republic. <clears throat> Today is the festival of our dead. We unite to honor the memory of our brave and our beloved to enrich and mobile our lives and recalling the public heroism and the private work that are immortal, to encourage by our solemn service the more zealous and stalwart patriotism. Festival of the dead, yes. Their many eyes are clouded with tears. Their many hearts are heavy with regret. Their many lives are still desolate because of the father or brother, the husband or lover who did not come back. For every grave which a tender reverence where love adores with flowers is the shrine of a sorrow whose influence is still potent. Though its first king poetry has been dull despite of all, today is a festival, a festival of our dead. No less a festival because it is full of solemnity. It now is in the silent camping ground of our dead, with soldiery tenderness and love. Regarding these passionless moms, let us recall those who made their breasts a barricade between our country and its foes. Let's recall their toils, their sufferings, their heroism, their supreme fidelity in camp and in prison pen, on the battlefield and in the hospital, the flag under which they fought, and from the shadows of those foes they were promoted may never be dishonored, that the country for whose union and supremacy they surrender life may have the fervent and enthusiastic devotion of every citizen, that as we stand by every grave as before an altar, we may pledge our manhood that so help us, God, the memory of our dead shall encourage and strengthen in us all a more loyal patriotism. Thank you. And now we're going to hear from the Thomas Yester Memorial Day Essay Contest winners sitting to my right. Some years ago, Tom uh, and Bill O'Brien got together and approached the school system to sponsor this wonderful event and um, we've had it for many years since in, in our continuing the tradition. Since then, Sean Scanlon also picked up the banner and does this on, on Veterans Day as well. So at this point, I would like to let you hear from the runner-up, Nate Durante for the, his Memorial Day essay. When I look around me, I see friends and family in the safe community. But what we don't see is the reason for this. The thousands of men and women who have died fighting for the land we call our home. On Memorial Day, we honor all the courageous souls that have died died doing the duty to protect our country. Without them, our lives would not be the same. Thank you. Nicely done, Nate. And now we'll 
going to hear from the winner of the Memorial Day essay contest, Audrey Kim. <laughs> To me, Memorial Day is a time to commemorate the soldiers who fought for us and made the ultimate sacrifice to make sure those pieces of history don't end up forgotten. I am Korean, my family is from Korea, and one of the reasons why my family could have a free country is because American soldiers helped and even lost their lives in the Korean War. It is more than just a day to honor the fallen soldiers, but a time to forever remember. Whenever we go about our daily lives, to know that their sacrifice was not in vain. Thank you very much. I'm sure your family and your friends are very proud of you today, as we all. Again, thank you. Uh, selection, uh, another selection from the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Club. As we head towards the closing of our ceremonies, I'd like to again call on Elliot Hastings uh, for a Legion prayer. Elliot? Let us pray. Almighty God, give you all victories. We thank thee for the opportunities which you find now, man. For the guidance in the hour of peril and the tender love in times of need. Help us to remember with reverence the valor and devotion of our departed comrades, not only those whose bodies consecrate our country's soil, but also those who sleep beyond the seas, and those others whose resting places will not be known until that last day when the people have given up its dead. O oh God, teach us to honor them by ever cherishing the ideals for which they fought. Keep us steadfast in the cause of human rights and liberties, of law and order, and true Americanism. Give us the power to see and the will to do right. Grant that we may preserve the high ideal for which our comrades died. May that merciful blessings rest upon those they left behind. Keep us forever firm in righteousness, humble of heart, and unselfish in purpose. Amen. close with the benediction, the rifle salute, the taps. I just want to acknowledge first uh, that the town band will be staying on the green to play many music selections for those who want to remain as such. So I'd like to again call on Pastor Chamberlain for the benediction. Our Father, as we close today, Help us not to be just one single day of remembrance. Help us to give thanks always for the sacrifices that have been made for us on our behalf. Now, town of Brantford, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Amen. Amen.
And now closing with the rifle seat, the tops. Units, attention. What? Present. Who? Order. Home. Commanders, take charge of your units and commence with the parade. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's the uh, parade ceremony here on the Brantford Green. It's uh, May 30th, 2022. Town of Brantford celebrates, remembers, honors, appreciates those that gave their lives for the defense of our country. It's uh, 2022 Memorial Day. Let's talk to, hello, Jeanette. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So um, that was a great, uh, Great ceremony today, right, Jeanette? I really enjoyed it. You know, I've been coming to this for almost 50 years. My brother just reminded me that he's been Your doing brother. this for 50 your Vin brother Vincent. Yeah. This is his fifty-first, I believe. Yeah. So yeah. I, I I was mentioning to my husband Bob Mobeck. Yeah. I said, "How many years have we been doing this? You know, with the exception of a few off to college, this sort of thing." But um, it's just always very heartwarming. And what comes up for me is one thing and one thing only: we are so blessed to have and enjoy this freedom. And we have to protect it at all costs. I know. I mean, we're seeing evidence of that right now, oh right? With that God. brutal it, invasion yeah. by Putin and the Russians. It, I mean. it really is very much in the forefront of everyone's mind. And this is a day that helps us remember it. I mean, so. people don't want to, you know, spend all the money, right, on, you know, the military and have a big army and stuff. But, right. I mean, there's people in the, in the world that are, you know, brutal... Uh, we like just Putin. have to protect our freedoms yeah, at all that's, costs. That's true, right? because, there's, because there's enemies out there, right? Right, right, yeah. yep. Well, well, great to talk to nice you. Nice to talk to you, Frank. It's uh, Jeanette Mobeck. Let me talk to, um, I want to talk to the winner, the winner of the... Frank. Oh, hey, Frank Carano. Interview? Yes, Frank Carano from the uh, <laughs> DACA. Oh, okay. The DACA. How are things going on, on your store on, you know, your yeah, store the, on Yeah, we're Street? doing really well. Uh, and one of the reasons I came up to you was to invite you and the public to come into the gallery and see the beautiful art we have there. We have our summer show, which will be mounting uh, in the first week of June. So we invite everyone to come and enjoy the beautiful experience of uh, being able to participate in that uh, gallery. See, we have over 50 artists showing their work there. I mean, you know, I mean, you've done a wonderful job organizing it and, you know, having it presented in the way you do. Uh, also, the hours, Frank, what hours We're are open? Uh, Wednesday through Saturday, 11 to 5, and we'll probably have uh, evening hours during the summer, probably Friday night. Yeah. Okay, and also the address, sir. Yeah, 1004 Main Street, right across from the green. Okay, 1004 Main Street. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you want to check you. it out. Thank you, sir. Frank Carano, president of DACA. Let's go over now and talk to our first selectman, Jamie hey, Cosgrove. How, are you? how are you doing? Good. Very good, sir. How are you today? Good, it's a beautiful good. day. Yeah, beautiful day. Yeah. Great to be here on the green. That um, was a that was a great speech you made and also a great ceremony today. Uh, always a great ceremony. Yeah. I think the, the committee does a great job putting it together. It's great to have the turnout uh, for this day. 
Um, and, you know, it's the, we'd like to see it on Veterans Day as well. So uh, I think Brantford has a strong tradition of truly honoring our veterans and uh, remembering those who have, uh, as the, the, you know, given, uh, gave their all for yeah, uh, our country. So. Yeah, for our freedom. For our freedom, yeah. right? Yeah. No, but it was, it was a great turnout today. I was yes, surprised yes. how many townspeople, yep. you know, attended. Yeah, no, it is. It's nice to see, yeah. And also, too, those, right, the, the essay, the essay winners, oh, yeah, they were wonderful. To have, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they do a great job, and it was great to have uh, the schools participate, the students, and, you know, bring the kids out and give them the opportunity to, uh, you know, tell us what, what Memorial Day means to them, and, uh, yeah. uh, you know, great to hear from them. Welcome back to our coverage of Brantford, Connecticut's Memorial Day 2022 celebration and parades. We've been covering the activities throughout the town for the last few hours. We started this morning down in Stony Creek. They had the great parade down there from the Veterans Memorial Tri Triangle up to the uh, Stony Creek Cemetery. Great speeches there. And then we covered for you the uh, all the naval ceremonies on the Hubbard Bridge, South Monowee Street. And right now, we're up at the town green. We already brought to you all the speeches here on the green. And then the parade kicked off. And the parade went all the way down West Main Street. And now they're, they're coming back this way in front of the front of the reviewing stand. There's the police going by. Look at those beautiful uniforms. That's that's real parade dress if I've ever seen it. Coming up too, we have um, the, the we have the marshal, parade marshal, and aides. These are um, there's uh, RTM representative Don Conklin, uh, Ray Ingraham, and also the master of ceremonies Vinnie, Vincent Giordano. Coming up now, we have the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps. There's quite a few drum corps that you're going to be hearing as the parade marches by. We're going to be listening to them now. So here's the Stony Creek Fife and Drum Corps. saluting the reviewing stand, which is right behind us. Jamie Cosgrove, Dennis Flanagan, Ray Dunbar, and uh, State Representative Robin Comey are on the, on the reviewing stand. That's the governor's foot guard, located right here in Brantford. Coming up now in the red Miata, we have uh, town clerk Lisa Arpin driving, and uh, in the passenger seat, selectman or select woman, if you will, Angie Higgins. That's a very nice display there as they pass the reviewing stand. Al Ippolito, an attorney, walking by now. Coming up, we have Take a Vet Fishing. 
a very outstanding organization. And I believe that's one of the boats they use when they take vets out for the day and go fishing. Established in 2007. Here's another truck that they use, take a vet fishing. It's one of the many services that Branford and Branford organizations offer to the veterans. Coming up now, we have Boy Scouts of America Troop 424. That was the color guard that went by. 424. We saw them earlier down in Stony Creek. There's some RTM representatives going by. Hello. Hi, Hello. Hello, Barbara. Hello. More Cub Scouts now, Girl Scouts, Brownies. All saluting the reviewing stand as they pass by. Here's the uh, high school band. Lodge Color Guard walking by now. Lodge 1939, South Manaway Street. This is a uh, truck from the Columbus Day Parade. It's going to be in East Haven this year, Sunday, October the 9th at 1 p.m. They alternate the parade in different uh, shoreline and shoreline and New Haven towns. Uh, Branford last had Columbus Day, I think, the parade about, th I think, four years ago, if I'm right. Coming up next, we have the Branford Lions Club Color Guard. And some of the members of the Lions Club, over 65 years of community service here in Branford. We have the Branford. Garden Club next. Some of the members, we have Gary Zielinski, who's the highway supervisor at the uh, Department of Public Works, driving that John Deere tractor. And behind him are also members of the Brantford Garden Club. All saluting the reviewing stand as they walk by. Next we have uh, uh, the Knights of Columbus, I believe, some vehicles coming up. Uh, antique and vintage cars. That's a Pontiac GTO there in front. Lots of chrome there. Beautiful car. Here's a um, Chevrolet. Chevrolet, beautiful car in excellent condition. Coming up, we have a uh, Formula, which I believe is a GM. Uh, here's a here's a Volkswagen Beetle with the uh, air cooled rear engine. This is uh, and this is built from a kit, I believe. It's an Avanti popular at one time. Uh, here's another Volkswagen Beetle with a convertible. A Carmen Gieb from Volkswagen, a very popular model in its day. Here's a, uh, it's another Miata. This is a restored blue Cadillac. Coming up, we have the uh, Branford Police. 
and then you'll be seeing all the Brantford fire vehicles. So it's been great to be with you today. A lot of people turned out, both in Stony Creek as well as here on the Brantford Green. It was a beautiful day, just right for a parade. Uh, the next parade will be um, Veterans Day in early fall, so check your calendar for that. Brantford Green has great events all summer long. Uh, evenings of music. Here's the uh, fire department. All paramedics saluting the reviewing stand as they pass by. Coming up now, we have uh, one of the antiques that are used by the fire department. This is uh, the old ladder number one. It's in excellent shape. It's a, it's a 1937. They keep it so nice it can probably still be used. Here's the uh, car belonging to the deputy chief. Here's the uh, Indian Neck Pine Orchard vehicle. Uh, engine 9. Uh, that's a volunteer company. This is Engine 5 from Stony Creek. That's another volunteer company. They're always looking for more volunteers. If you have any interest in helping your town with fire protection, uh, these companies would we'd like to hear from you. Rescue 5, uh, Stony Creek. Here's uh, engine four. Uh, that was from uh, Short Beach, I believe. Engine two, MP Rice, hose company. We have great trained fire personnel. Coming up, the last two vehicles in the parade. These are two ambulances. Paramedic unit, rescue two. We have four all together. And here's uh, uh, another, this is uh, tax six. So anyway, it's been great to be with you today. We've enjoyed bringing to you the coverage of Memorial Day 2022 in Brantford. We hope to see you at future parades. The Veterans Day is coming up in the fall and uh, lots of great activities to look forward to here on the Brantford Green, including the Brantford Festival, which will be with us in about two weeks. So it'll be the first one back on the Brantford Green in. Uh, I think three years, because because the last festival was at the, at the farm in 2021. So uh, great to be with you. I'm Frank Tuhill for Henry Pond. Until next time, goodbye.